Okay, today we're simply going to melt a little bit of copper and we're going to uh, check to see if a couple of different filters will give us a better shot at what's actually going on inside the crucible when the copper melts. I'm also still working on the idea of keeping more of the heat in. So I've made a couple of rings of insulation to go around this particular crucible so that even the top part that sticks out of the uh, ceramic crucible is covered and I've made a, a heavier a bunch of covers there to try to keep more heat in today. Current on 40 amps 42.57 kilohertz water 18.4 dropping back to 39 amps I better start my timer here So today we're going to try a uh, oxyacetylene full face shield. This green I think is about a number five. We're going to try this number eight uh, electric welding filter, uh, gold covered, uh, whereas we had a ten the last time. And then we're also going to try an inexpensive neutral density camera filter that I got from uh, Walmart for $2.50 for the package. 42.96 kilohertz, 147 into the test, 38 and a quarter amps, 21.3 on the water. A little smoke coming off of the uh, insulation here. Since it's brand new, it's not a surprise. It usually does do that. About two and a half minutes. Crucible's blowing. Really this, you know, we've seen all this stuff before. But I'll just put some copper in here anyway. See, I could have done a better job at separating these filter pieces here. half a dozen pieces in there or so, maybe a few more. I've only got uh, 270 grams that I'm going to be melting today anyway. But again, I want to get at that idea of we've only got so much heat available, so the more we can keep in, the better off we are. I hope you can see this today, that even when we're up to heat, we won't see any glowing making it through the insulation. And, and, and the ceramic crucible, as far as I can tell. We're now uh, almost four minutes into the test, and uh, we have uh, uh, 42.82 kilohertz, 25 Celsius on the water. More smoke. Wow, we're seeing the blue flames that we've seen before coming out of there. Uh, I see the crucible uh, glowing uh, high orange at the bottom. And I think I'm going to try the green filter first. Okay, there's the green filter. For 6 minutes 28 seconds into the test, the copper is clearly molten and if there's anything to be seen here, it's this whole idea of how much bubbling is actually going on and when I look down in there with my naked eye, I just see this black spot in the middle and, and you can slowly th see things just kind of moving around there, moving a little faster at that point. Put a piece in here to see what it looks like. See if you can see it melting. There it is, blue flame all melted. 
another one. Smoke rising out of it, blue flame IC, obviously you're going to see something different. And there it's melted. And there's what's going on. Okay, now we will switch to the number uh, 8 filter. Okay, now the number 8 electric welding filter is in place. I'll put some more copper in here. Oops, I shouldn't drop it like that. It does spit a little bit. We're down to uh, 35 amps. Boy, that melted pretty quick, didn't it? Must be something on the inside of this tubing that makes that little popping sound. Another piece. Wow. Gotta watch that peat. Wow, that's sure melting quickly. Okay, it's, that's what it's doing. Now I'm going to put the cover back on for a minute. I can see that ring didn't last too long, did it? And now I will change to the neutral density filter. Okay. Uh, remove the cover here. This is the last filter for today. Obviously things are melted in there. Boy, it certainly melts quickly. Eleven minutes and forty-nine seconds. Forty-two point four kilohertz. Water thirty-nine point nine. Okay, I guess we see what we see. Uh, so, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the covers back on as best I can here. And give this a minute or two and then take its temperature again. Uh, just to see what we get up to after we've melted some copper and we've given it some time uh, to uh, recover from the melting of the copper. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm going to change. I'm going to put the rest of this 274 grams in it. current 31 amps current 30 amps that's melting a little slower 
current 30 amps frequency 42.32 kilohertz 14 minutes into the test 30 amps 41.5 on the water one piece to go here and it melted pretty quick so I hope you can see this time some of the stirring going on I'm going to put the cover back on now and we're going to wait a minute or two and take the temperature in the meantime I'm going to put the uh, number 8 filter back in the gold color 15 minutes and 30 seconds into the test I'm just taking the cover off for a second to verify that my camera still aimed correctly yep Okay, we'll give it one more minute and take its temperature. I'm, I'm looking down here at my coil and stuff for signs that the, that the ceramic outer shell of the crucible is glowing. My point being that we want to try to keep the, as much heat in as we can. Uh, I forgot what I said what I was going to wait at. 16 minutes 15 seconds into the test, 42.28 kilohertz. We are at uh, 29 amperes, 41.8 on the water. At 17 minutes I will take the temperature. meter starting out at 19 degrees Celsius. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, hot, twelve, fifty, twelve, sixty, twelve, sixty-five, kind of hot on the finger here, twelve, seventy-one, twelve, seventy-three, twelve, seventy-five, or eleven, seventy-five, did I say twelve? Eleven, eighty-four, eleven, eighty-five, eleven, eighty-seven, eleven, eighty-eight, eleven, eighty-nine, Let's call it that, 1189, whatever that is. Of course, it's uncovered. And that really is the test for today. I don't know exactly how much you'll be able to see through that filter, but I mean, the surface, it, it does some moving around things every now and then, but uh, not a lot. Uh, just one last comment. Uh, I, uh, I, I got some uh, solid graphite a bar and I cut a piece off of it and I thought at some point it would be neat to make a cover, a graphite cover that would actually fit down in there uh, that would exclude a lot more oxygen from the whole system to keep that crucible from uh, going away so fast. I just got out of sync to do it and I didn't want to mess up the shop with uh, carbon all over. Uh, in order to accomplish that. So I'm just going to pour this out and you won't be able to see it but you've seen stuff get poured before. Now I, I think I've said it before but I have a hole right down on, on the bottom underneath the coil and there's a piece of about 4x4 four four insulating material here and I can push up and push the crucible up. Good. If I could get at it. Oh, I see. Take these off of here. There we go. Push up on the crucible so that I can... Oh, there. Okay. So that I can get at it with these pliers here. Almost 
again, I almost uh, let the crucible slide out of that ceramic shell. That's all that was in there. Okay. And for whatever it's worth, this is the pour the ingot for today. Current back to 6 amps, 37.8 kilohertz, water got up to 41.2, 20, 20 minutes and 29 seconds into the test. 